So this is a peach tree. It's a beautiful peach tree. I don't know what kind it is. I can't really read the tag because the tag blew away um, or the plastic broke down in the sunlight. But this is a beautiful peach tree. So now let's look closer. What is all over my peach tree? It's not peaches. Let's find out what it is. What do you see on the peach tree? So they're not peaches. Are they flowers? That's right. So our peach tree is covered in flowers. Does anybody know what has to happen to the flowers before they can turn into fruit? Do you know what process has to take place on these flowers? It's a very special process. Sometimes we might need bees to help with this process. Maybe flies or ants, beautiful butterflies, moths and bats can help with this process at nighttime when it's dark. What is this process? Does anybody know? It starts with the letter P. Did you guess it? Did you say pollination? If you did, you're right. So flowers need to be pollinated before they can turn into fruits. Each one of these flowers will be visited by some sort of flying insect, maybe a crawling insect, that'll help move pollen from flower to flower. Once the flowers are pollinated, every single flower, one flower will equal one peach. Can you count how many peaches we're gonna have on this tree? It's a lot of peaches. Hi again, here at our second fruit tree of the day. This is an apple tree. The, this tree is going to grow into a Jonathan apple. I can read this plant tag. It has not broken down from the sun or blown away. So a Jonathan apple is going to be a heavy annual bearer. So heavy means that it's gonna produce a whole lot of apples. Ooh, so we want that on our apple tree, right? It also says they're going to be high quality when well grown. So that means that if I, the farmer or the fruit tree grower, do a good job, right? If I make sure that there's plenty of nutrients and healthy soil around my tree, if I make sure it has plenty of sunlight, if it has sufficient water, especially through the hot, dry summer months and into the fall, and of course it has plenty of fresh air because it's outside already. So if I do all those things, if I grow this tree really well, then it'll produce very high quality apples. Let's see what else it says. Oh, it says that Jonathan apples are very good cooked. So that means we can make apple pie, apple crisp, maybe even apple sauce. I will add, maybe I'll add a link to our applesauce recipe so you can check that out and try to make some homemade applesauce at home. I haven't gotten any apples off of this tree yet. This tree is probably maybe five years old, five or six years old, so still no apples, but this could be the first year that it bears apples. So my question for you is what is different about the apple tree from the peach tree that we just saw? So the peach tree was covered in flowers. Do you see any flowers on the apple tree? I don't even see any leaves. I see a few, let's see if I can zoom in on a bud, a few little buds here, but no flowers yet. So that's right. So our apple tree doesn't have any flowers. It doesn't have any leaves. So what does that mean? Is there something wrong with our tree? Or do you think it's just different? I think our apple tree is just different from the peach tree. So let's think, when are peaches in season? Peaches are often in season in the warm summer months. So July and August, we have lots of fresh, juicy peaches. When are apples in season? Hmm, 
Apples are often more in season late August, September, October into the fall. So peaches bloom first and then apples bloom at a different time of year. So all plants have their own unique times where they like to bloom and when they like to flower and that works best for them. Peach trees and apple trees along with an almond or a pistachio tree or a plum tree or an orange tree, they all bloom at different times of the year. And so they all make fruit at different times of the year. So this apple tree, it's doing good. It's healthy. Hopefully we'll get some juicy, delicious Jonah, Jonathan, um, Jonathan apples and we'll be able to make some applesauce.